Hi everyone. Today it's finally a nice weather in Estonia. It's been raining for almost one month straight, so yeah, not satisfied with the weather this summer <laughs> so far. But uh, other than that, uh, I'm going today basically quite random. Uh, it's basically 25 kilometers from uh, my home, approximately. And the uh, destination is, I think it was Madajärve, some kind of trail. <laughs> yeah, I will uh, show you later more precise location. And uh, yeah, basically on the way, if I can find any kind of forest, uh, which I plan to, or somewhere nearby, then I do want to also go pick some uh, mushrooms and uh, maybe blueberries or something like that. So, yeah, I hope I can find a good forest. If, uh, if not, then at least we will see that trail. But yeah, let's, let's get going. I was waiting for such sunny day for a long time. There isn't much to go anymore. Getting uh, quite close. But the uh, bad thing is I didn't see any kind of forest on the road where I could go and pick some mushrooms and uh, berries. Just I'm looking for a specific kind of forest like conifer forest. I don't know if it's the correct way to say. <laughs> Yay! On the bridge. And I have something to show you. Be ready. Cranes walking there. Can't go too close. They will uh, fly away. Beautiful river in here. I like how those seaweed or whatever it is, grass is moving in water. It's as if uh, the grass is alive. Looks like to access this trail we need to use this off-road right next to that river. Arrived. It says On your own responsibility. I don't know if it's dangerous or what. <laughs> Let's keep going. So quiet. I think for now I'm the only one in here. Well, there are some mushrooms, but I'm not sure if this is edible. So. 
I will leave it here just in case. So actually it's my first time in here and it's a lot nicer than I expected. Yeah, I'm uh, super satisfied even if I can't find any mushrooms or berries. There is an interesting uh, circle of leaves. So I like those plants. So wild but beautiful. One weird thing in here is that there are so many feathers in this place. I wonder if uh, some bird and another animal had a fight or what. Super beautiful, right? Those water lilies or whatever they are you can even hear the wind breeze through leaves So quiet. Some serious fat mushrooms. Well, I'm pretty sure it's edible type. A bit old though. Yeah, again, it's not what I'm looking for. So many different types of mushrooms. This one, I don't know what it is. It's like a mushroom discovery channel. So many. But sadly, I have no recommendations should you pick this or not. At least I'm not going to. Even though it's maybe edible. place is full of mushrooms. Well, I'm uh, quite sure this mushroom is edible. But again, uh, not what I'm looking for. It looks good though. Wow, that's crazy. It's time to talk. So, yeah, I'm still in here. Decided to do my talk in here. Maybe some bugs will be bothering me from time to time. So, if I'm waving with my hand or doing weird movements, don't mind me. But, uh, yeah, you can see there is a nice background. And, uh, of course, you can see my hair is also quite cool, right? <laughs> yeah, as always, it's because of helmet and uh, that weird shape. But um, yeah, I didn't find any mushrooms. Uh, I mean, I found many mushrooms, but I didn't find the ones I wanted to find. <laughs> I guess uh, I'm at the wrong place. And uh, same with berries, I found uh, cranberries, but I didn't find blueberries, which I was actually looking for. But it's okay, at least the place is super nice. But uh, about today's topic, so I was thinking to talk about uh, uh, basically low position jobs, so to say, uh, importance of low position jobs, 
because I feel uh, quite often such low position jobs are not valued enough and uh, yeah what uh, those uh, so to say CEOs and so on uh, leaders don't understand leaders owners whoever is that uh, yes of course uh, they are the ones who either had the idea to create something or they are the ones who studied a lot to climb the ladder and uh, reach a higher position. Yes, it all makes sense to, so to say, earn more money and uh, have more power <laughs> at, uh, at work. But at the same time, I feel like uh, sometimes such uh, low or lower positions are just too undervalued and especially when we are talking about salary of course uh, many such lower positions usually earn uh, okay let's say for example Estonian example 600 to up to maybe 1.5 thousand approximately of course can be higher maybe can be even lower but uh, yeah I guess uh, most common is something between uh, that range and uh, talking about those higher positions of course uh, it can be quite endless but it probably starts from uh, 1.5 thousand so so in that sense, uh, yeah, there is a big gap, but uh, talking about the importance, I feel like uh, not only that uh, they are like such lower position uh, people, they are underpaid, but also quite often uh, they have to do, so to say, like a dirty job maybe or something that's uh, harsh on their health and like uh, both mental or physical well-being you yeah, already box him <laughs> so yeah, considering uh, such suspects yeah it's uh, not just salary right they they are definitely suffering uh, more than higher positions quite often also for example let's say of course uh, construction workers can earn more in Estonia but uh, just for example, construction workers, uh, depending on uh, what exactly do they do, quite often they have health problems because uh, their work is physical, right? And if you have been doing physical work all your life, then uh, you know your health is going to give up at some point because you don't have enough rest. Five five days a week you are doing that job. Maybe some do even more often. So. But um, yeah, maybe that's why they get a little bit more salary. But uh, at the same time, still, I don't think it's that much. Like maybe they get uh, two up to three thousand. I mean, yeah, it's quite okay. You can live, and uh, not uh, from a salary day to a salary day, depending on how much do you like to spend. But you can maybe have a little bit left over also. But uh, yeah, is it worth it? I mean, of course, uh, people should do it, and uh, some people like to do it, and so on. But what I mean is, uh, is that salary they are getting covering all their health expenses in the future? Of course, in Estonia, you don't have to pay as much for your health expenses as in some other countries. A country pays quite a lot as long as your health is secured in uh, our system uh, by working for example and uh, so yeah basically employer pays uh, some social stuff <laughs> I don't know so well in English how to explain but um, so basically I mean uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but it's not that great. But also there are many other jobs where people get paid a lot less. 
for example, cleaning workers or those who sort of people in uh, grocery stores and so on, right? Very important jobs, I think. But uh, how much do they get paid? Yeah, 600, 700, 1000. Yeah, that's the uh, minimum amount to live. You can't even uh, take any normal loans with that. I mean, you can't afford an apartment even. So it's quite tough. So that's what I mean. They are so underpaid. But uh, at the same time, uh, the job is very important. Like, uh, for example, cleaning workers. I mean, I can't imagine everywhere it would be so dirty and uh, super, like, unenjoyable experiences if everything was dirty. So I do think they definitely deserve to get paid much more than that. Also, it's also a physical job. And uh, yeah, it's not that easy also if you have to do those repetitive movements every day. So again, why pay so little amount of money? Just, uh, of course, I understand that those uh, higher positions, uh, of course, if you study much more and uh, you climb the ladder and uh, or you're the owner or like CEO of some company, Yes, you should get more, probably. It makes sense, otherwise people wouldn't study at all, maybe. But, uh, I mean, the gap shouldn't be that big, is what I'm saying. I feel like those uh, many CEOs are quite greedy. They don't want to pay much. Of course, some may not have that much money. <laughs> maybe they are not doing that well, but I mean, when they are doing that well. So basically, those CEOs are are having some luxury cars and fancy buildings and so on while some people are working every day for them to keep their company or whatever running while they are enjoying their life and uh, yeah they get almost nothing for that of course uh, they do accept the job because they do need to work and uh, but uh, you know is it reasonable just, uh, I feel like people are not considered of far as much when they are not paying enough or when they are not treating their employees well enough because uh, there are even like situations where you could get this uh, small salary and uh, also wet bad treatment like expectations are super high but uh, salary is basically close to minimum yeah quite disappointing I think but uh, yeah so just my point is basically I think uh, without such lower positions also when it comes to I think uh, people who work for a country like uh, police for example or firefighters like rescue and such very important I think but uh, yeah, they are usually getting more than minimum, uh, maybe close to median salary. But again, I don't think it's enough considering what they have to do from time to time. Of course, some may think like police are not doing that much and so on. Well, think what you want, of course, but uh, at the same time, uh, there are sometimes situations where they have to risk their lives, which uh, most most of us don't have to. And if you get paid like uh, 1.5 thousand uh, euros a month, which is yeah close to median salary in Estonia, and you are risking your life, like they are doing the right thing, it's a very important job. But I just feel like uh, the salary should be a bit higher. But yeah, that's just my opinion. There are so many jobs, like I can't mention everything, but I'm just feeling like uh, there are so many underpaid jobs and uh, people who are working on such jobs, such positions, deserve a lot more than they get. At least, uh, if not salary, 
like if the salary can't be increased much, I'm pretty sure the attitude towards those workers could be better because quite often it's not that great people are looking down on them and so on maybe so yeah it's it's quite sad basically I'm uh, just telling about many sad things in life I'm not satisfied with this or that but you know this is how it is and actually people maybe even like to hear about things there are problems not about things that are not problems you know what I mean is uh, if something is not a problem then quite often there is not much to talk about all there is to say is just everything is good <laughs> and if so then uh, what else can you add right but uh, when everything is not good then it's quite easy to talk or discuss what's not good and what could be done better so yeah today's point is that i think people who are working on such so to say lower positions should be appreciated more and uh, yeah should get better treatment at work by their employers and of course other colleagues and uh, yeah Salaries should be, of course, also increased. Everyone wants to live, everyone wants to enjoy life and, uh, you know, have less stress in their lives. And, um, yeah, nowadays money can change a lot in that sense. So, if you have more money, you will have quite often less stress. And uh, just... Uh, you know, you can be happier, you can do more things, you can uh, do something enjoyable with that money in your free time. And everyone deserves to have some days off from time to time, every week. <laughs> so, but if they don't have enough money, they just need to pay for their apartment and like loans and uh, food and uh, communal expenses and so on. Then, yeah, what are we talking about? I mean, sounds a little bit sad, I think. So, yeah, I hope one day people will understand each other more, be more accepting to each other when it comes to jobs and so on, and not look down on those who are doing important jobs, but, uh, yeah, they don't need to study as much, but... Uh, now they need to do a job which many other people don't want to do, you know. Not because of salary, but just uh, they don't want to do this, this kind of job. They want to sit in their office maybe or, you know, not do those uh, so physically tiring things or it yeah, can be mentally stressful, of course. So yeah, I hope things will get better. And that's about it. I will uh, finish here. I hope it was uh, something for you to think about if you didn't think this way already. And uh, yeah, it's probably a very common topic, so to say. It's nothing new, probably, and uh, maybe it's not even so interesting, but you know, that's the truth. And uh, I just wanted to mention this truth to some people maybe who will in the future watch my video and uh, maybe think about it more. You know, even uh, such small messages, so to say, can maybe make some difference for someone. But I think I talked enough for today as always i talk too long so i will end here with this great view there is a small lizard i can't say it's cute it's it's small but i'm not fan of lizards <laughs> and they run away so 
I was thinking to do some push-ups. Usually I'm only using my legs. Maybe this time I can use my upper body. So that's for you. For me also, of course. I'll do a knuckles to make it more difficult. Yeah, quite easy. So I came here to find blueberries, but I found cranberries. Not too bad, but not exactly what I was looking for. It's a bit sad to leave this trail. So beautiful, but it's already 6.30 p.m. so it's time to leave. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed being in here and uh, recording it for you. I guess see you next time. Bye bye.